Alright guys, we're back again. Today we're going to take a look at this beast, the Helm Kuraburi. Just buzzing that we could get hold of one of these. But let's get under the lights and get into it. Okay, welcome back guys. We're under the lights again. Uh, this is the Helm Kuraburi. Let's get into it. So, here she is. Been trying to get my hands on a Kuraburi for months and months and months. Uh, but it's finally here. So, let's have a little look, shall we? So, 43 across the bezel. You can see that the case does actually taper down a touch, so it won't be as big on your wrist, but 43 at the bezel. Forty-nine tip to tip. Drilled logs. Twenty-two mil lug width and thick. Yeah, she thick. I'm getting about 15 and a half of my calipers. Uh, Helma stating 16. So she thick. Entirely 316L stainless steel. Brushed finish throughout. There's no polished surfaces, no bevels, no chamfers, no nonsense. Uh, that brushing continues to that really deep rehort as well. Uh, sapphire bezel insert loomed. We'll have a look at that later. Beast of a crown. This one's up here at the 10 o'clock. Um, it all is also manufactured with a crown at 4 I like it up at a 10. This is a beast. This is an 8mm thick crown. Uh, no crown guards, but when it's up on your, certainly on your left wrist, you're not going to have any issues with banging that into anything. The dial. Again, no frills. Oceans of BGW9 loom on those really broad, fat hands and those raised up applied hour indexes just swimming in luminescent material little orange tip to the second hand as well let's um Try and get the hands out of the way. Screws in really well, actually, that screw down crown. No issues there at all. Um, yes, there is branding. There's the Helm logo at 12 o'clock. Divers 300 meters and automatic above the 6 o'clock index. But unobtrusive branding. Yeah, every watch company's got the right to stick their branding wherever they want, but let's try and not have it so in your face. Uh, I appreciate that from Helm. Let's have a look at the... Oh, let's have a look at the case back. Nicely deep etched helm logo and branding again uh, there's nothing sharp on there at all that's really smooth model name divers 300 meters iso 6425 certified diver and yep it's an nh38 so that's the no date version of the very well known nh35 so there's no ghost position here 
unscrew the crown, pull it out, change the time, screw it back down, no issues. Uh, let's just have a look at this bracelet again. She thick, four mil thick links, just a chunk of steel. Love it. So, 22, 20, 23 of that clasp, but yeah, 23. That is 48 mil long. So, I mean, certainly things to think of uh, if you're putting that in proportion to your wrist, but we'll have a look in a bit how it looks on my seven inch wrist and I haven't got an issue. Um, screw links uh, tools are provided uh, by Helm to do that. So that's a breeze to, uh, to size it up for your wrist. Uh, also does come with a single pass Zulu strap and you can also get a one of Helm's canvas straps at a reduced rate when you're buying a watch at the same time as well. Um, you may have noticed we do have a, a dive extension here so it's three positions at its widest that's going to give you an extra 10 mil one centimeter Second position is going to give you an extra six and a half mil. And that last one there, oh, I use this quite often. It's about three mil extra. So if you're uh, throughout the day, if your wrist is getting bigger because of the heat outside, certainly in summer, or if you live in a hot country, uh, that's really useful to have that. Branded fold over. It's just friction, but Let's see if we can just yeah. again hewn out of a big old bar of stainless steel. Quality, thick steel, brushed. You get the picture. Uh, Unfortunately, on Helm's website, these are sold out again. Seems like they might only do one, possibly two runs of each model per year. So sign up to the mailing list. You'll get an email when they are available. I had to jump on this one uh, within just a few minutes of getting the email last month. Uh, plus $30 for worldwide DHL shipping. The shipping was fantastic. Um, probably the best experience I've had. Chunk, let's put it on the wrist. I don't know why people say the wrist. My wrist. So there it is, seven inch wrist, fits no problem, 49, lug to lug, that's no issues on a seven inch wrist, um, case diameter is fairly superfluous, but it looks really good. So, in evaluation, the Helm Kuraburi, what do we like about it? What do I like about it? Um, no frills, no nonsense. Um, a born tool watch. I love the chunkiness, the weight. Uh, by the way, uh, sized up for my wrist, it's uh, 203 grams. It's not messing around. Love that kind of chunky. expression of steel even the chunky loom on it 
Uh, there's no messing around, fantastic crown, easy to screw in. Really good bezel action. Sapphire on there as well, so it's not going to scratch very easily. I mean, you buy it and it does what it says on the tin. I love it, I think it's great. Negatives, well, you know, before before you think about purchasing this yes it's a big heavy thick watch so if you think 49 is too wide for you for your wrist don't get it if you think that 15 and a half 16 mil thickness is too thick if that beastly clasp is too much for you then don't buy it but I can't think of, if you're walking into this with your eyes open, if you've done your research, if you've looked at the specs, when you buy this, what negatives are you going to have? I can't think of any. If you can, let me know. But that is the Helm Kuraburi. Uh, I love it. All right, guys, cheers now. We'll see you again in another Rosh Fuko watch review. So nearly forgot to um to give you a loom shot. Uh, we've already spoken about how thickly that luminous material is applied. So let's just see how it um how it functions in the real world. <laughs> there it is. <laughs>